First time I heard about Sellerboard was when I joined an FBA aggregator. And once I understood what Sellerboard does, I was so surprised that it is not known and spoken about online. Sellerboard is a software that connects with your seller central account and allows you to deep dive into your business's accounting in real time. Spoiler alert, there's always so many costs that there is no way you will know about unless you have a software plugging into it and showing it to you. I am just now setting up seller board for and I thought I would do a quick walkthrough to show you what it does. If you want to try seller board after I show you this, then make sure to use my link down below and you can get two free months instead of one. Here in seller board, the dashboard, and the first thing I want to show you is a quick needy trick to change the language because it took me a while to figure this out. So you just look at the URL and then you see here EN. If it's EN, it will be in English. If you want to change it to German, just replace it with DE and then everything will be in German, as you can see. If you need it in Russian for some reason, just RO and then it will be in Russian. I don't know how many languages are available, but um, the first thing I want to show you is the dashboard and this is in the profit section so if you open the profit section you can see there's a dashboard where you can find everything about your PL, ppc products expenses lifetime value cash flow and reports i will guide you through the main features of it as well as in the inventory section and in the money back section because those are in my opinion the most critical things that you need so coming back to the dashboard, have several ways to look at your PL. So the tiles is just for a quick view. You can see what's happening today, what happened yesterday, month to date, this month or last month. Uh, you can also change what is the time frame that you're going for. You can do the predefined. You can also select the custom range, which is really, really handy. You can define if you're looking just at one specific marketplace or all of the marketplaces and you can also compare different things. Here in the tile section you can see what is happening um, overall in terms of sales and if you scroll down you can see the same but how is it broken down by ASIN. I also really like the chart view and the PL view, but I will show them to you at the end of the video once I go through all of the main features. Now let's move on to the PPC dashboard. The PPC dashboard gives you a quick view, information that's more easy to analyze when your focus is your PL. So on this chart, you can see the ad spent, as well as the profit, as well as the ACOS per day. So selecting all of the periods, meaning all of the days, you can see that the PPC generated 20 orders with this amount of ad spent, this much was refunds, which you don't really get to see the refund information anywhere else, usually as easily. How much is the Amazon fees and when it comes to Amazon fees, how do they distribute? So how much of it is FBA fee, how much of it is commission, how much of it is other? COGS, VAT, and profit and if you scroll down you can see the detail on the campaign level so if you want to go a little bit deeper and analyze exactly what is working or not working with your campaigns you can also do everything here and i think it is a little bit easier to use than the campaign manager now let's move on to the product section and this is where you define how much each unit costs you to purchase to you from your supplier and therefore it's super critical that this is well done and updated at each step so that your PLs are pulling the cogs and calculating the cogs correctly so that you have an accurate profit number i'll just quickly show you what it looks like now but at the end of this video i link my second seller board video where i'll show you exactly how to set this up uh, to make sure that you have it accurate so just make sure to watch that one as well if you need help with that or if you want to understand how it works essentially here you have per ASIN you can say how much is the product cost of this product so for this specific ASIN for Germany I have this product costs in this amount I have this amount in handling and I have this amount in sending to warehouse and this is according to the seller the only costs that go into this product making it so that this product actually costs them 17 euros 77 to create and then of course all of the other costs of selling go on top of that 
and this is done for each of their product. There's more information here, very important how you're defining it, if it's constant or by period, batch or marketplace. But again, I will show you how that works in my other video. Now I want to show you the second section, which is inventory. And I want to just quickly mention the purchase order section in the inventory tab. So what is the PO number? What is the supplier? What is the product you're sourcing? And when does it arrive? And why does seller board need or would help you more if it would have this information because then it can calculate when you need to place a new PO. If he knows which POs are on the way and when they will arrive, knowing your current sales velocity, he can tell you, okay, today it's time for you to place yet another PO with the supplier. So that's also super nice for you to have a place where you have everything and you don't have to have a million Google Sheets. Besides that, you can also log or it is logged with Seller Central, therefore it is pulling all of your FBA shipments in real time. So for example, I can see here that for this FBA shipment, and you can find what is inside of it, uh, it receives already 96% of the, of the units. Finally, I want to also quickly show you the money back feature, which is tracking if Amazon ever lost or damaged your inventory. Because as you know, it can happen in their warehouses that they lose something or they damage something. And then unless you tell them that you know that this is this happened, you will not get reimbursed. You can also analyze your returns and see in case Amazon changed your FBA fee. Because you know, when you have a lot of products, your fees change sometimes and it's very hard for you to keep track on that. And as you also know, the amount of fees that you're being charged can make or break your profitability. So it's very important that you can keep an eye on that. You can also manage here your connections with eBay, Shopify and QuickBooks. Going back to the dashboard, let's dive deeper into the analytics. So I already showed you the tiles view, but if you prefer to see things in charts, you also have the opportunity to analyze the user chart view. It is a very easy to grasp representation of what happened in the last whatever period you want to analyze. So this specific account is for board games. It's very natural that they make the majority of their revenue in the around the Christmas gifting season. Most importantly, I want to really draw your attention to in December, you can see here the simplified profit and losses and the refunds costs. So we had the general idea that this account suffered a lot with refunds and that this is very pricey. But here you can actually see just how significant refunds are in this case. And it is very obvious that something needs to be done in order to improve that. Something else that I want to show you is this March part, which is a negative profit, very significant negative profit. If we click on it, we can see that it comes from Amazon fees. Specifically, if you click on Amazon fees, you see that this two, there's 2.8K missing from inbound clawback. So this is exactly what I was saying, that seller board found that they lost a lot of inventory. And knowing that, you can take action to get this money back. And this brings me to my favorite view, which is a PNL view, where you can see the most amount of information possible. So digging in again into the refunds, you open and you see all of the possible costs that Amazon can charge you. You can also expand into advertising, what is sponsored products, what is sponsored brand, what is sponsored brand video or display. And if you go all the way down, you can actually find your real margin, which is very always very confronting i find to see that you know if you if you would actually know that your real margin is not 20 to 30 percent as you calculated in the beginning of starting your business or starting this product because of the best case scenario but actually you find that in a given month your real margin is maybe negative because of in this case very often returns and how much returns cost you and with this information you can actually take you can finally take action to fix it and to really focus on what is the specific operational topics that your business needs to focus on 
it to work you only need two things you need to load seller board with your cogs meaning how much each unit of the products that you sell costs you and to connect it to your ppc everything else seller board does by its own or after that after those connections are done seller board does everything by its own and it computes your pnls automatically and in real time I show you how to set it up in this video. If you want to try seller board, then don't forget to use my affiliate link. It will be down below and you will get two free months instead of one when you try it out. Thank you so much for watching.